brothers and sisters, as we draw together now to contemplate this 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross, we are reminded with each hammer blow of the prophetic words spoken of our Lord. Psalm 21 writes, They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. All of salvation history and the fullness of God's revelation, the way in which he has communicated himself to mankind, has led to this moment. Or our Lord finally, having made his way of his passion, having been beaten and scourged, spat upon and rebuked by all who claim to know and love him, and by his enemies alike, our Lord finds himself now thrown down upon this instrument of his own execution. It's curious here, we have to place ourselves in the midst of this scene, right? To see Mary and Mary of Magdala and John the Beloved standing there alone as the only chosen witnesses to our Lord's friends and family. But beyond that, our Lord there, now nailed to this cross, is lofted in the midst of these two thieves. Like a common criminal, our Lord is stripped of all dignity, of honor, and respect. He's been left with nothing from this world to comfort him. Why? Why has this been the way that our Lord has died for us? Our Lord dies with his arms outstretched. As the eternal high priest, he offers himself wholly and fittingly for the sake and the salvation of all mankind. And so he does so with arms outstretched, welcoming all of the human race into his loving embrace. Now, there are many of us on different points in our spiritual journey. And perhaps we're at a point in our own spiritual journey where we have lost our faith. Or where have we have turned away from the Lord in some way. Or at least we don't have a relationship with him as seeing him as a loving father or close friend, one to whom we might embrace. And so what this station is showing to each one of us is that there, even then, in the midst of our Lord's pain and enduring his death and suffering for our sake, he remains open to each one of us as a sinner undeserving of any mercy our lord offers himself to us still continually and so we have to place ourselves in the midst of this scene in our own quiet prayer and ask where do we place ourselves perhaps i'm one of the soldiers nailing our lord to the cross itself bitterly i rebuke him perhaps i'm there alongside our lady weeping silently perhaps i'm there as the magdalene is at the foot of the cross wailing loudly at the terror that she is enduring Perhaps we are just one of the bystanders, watching our Lord from afar, as so many of his disciples did. Wherever we are and whomever we are, we are all along this spiritual journey, and we find ourselves now in consideration of this great station, where our Lord is finally affixed to his cross, the means of our salvation. And we have to trust that no matter where we might be, or what manner we might find our Lord, he still greets us with arms outstretched, ready to welcome us as he welcomes all of humanity. May God bless and keep you.